Get it on the million dollar highway. Money, money, money. One million dollars. <laughs> Tree, lots of trees, little communal fire pit. So we've made it to Montrose, Colorado, and sometimes this is just the way the cookie crumbles. You can probably hear it behind me. Bitter, better, bitter, better, bitter, better. Getting all ASMR on you. If you don't know what ASMR is, look it up. It's very strange, but I like it. It's gonna be raining today, tomorrow, the next day, every single day that we're here. We're only here for three days. We have two different big day trips that we're super excited about. Hopefully we'll be able to film through the rain, but we're gonna make it fun regardless. Let's go. Whoa, Ridgeway, looking good, homie, <laughs> my God. This is a cattle ranching town. It's just 20, 25 minutes down the road and they're mainly known for where they filmed the original True Grit movie with John Wayne back in 1969. Fill your hand, you son of a bitch! And there's a cafe here with, uh, I think they have probably some memorabilia. We're gonna find out. On the agenda though, we're heading direction Ure, then Silverton. We're gonna be driving some of that million dollar highway in the rain, so we're gonna be going slow along them cliff edges, you know? Keeping it safe. But first, of course, Little buddy. <laughs> the True Great Cafe was closed, but no biggie. We found another great coffee shop and decided to stroll the downtown of Ridgeway, which for me is probably the most charming small town I've been to in Colorado so far. 100%. It, it just, oh my gosh. Everything looks so beautiful, so postcard perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Reminds me so much of Montana and Wyoming. Yeah. Like it's unique in that sense. We've definitely gone to the cute little ski towns. Everybody's there to like do outdoor mountain winter stuff. sports, mountain yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then we've seen the side where it's like people are on the lake and the rivers and they're biking and they're wearing their Tevas and their Patagonia gear and like and driving their Subarus. Driving their Subarus <laughs> and whatnot. But here it feels very ranch style western. Yeah, cat makes cattle sense. ranches all the way over here. And the views here, I mean. Honestly, we probably sound so cliche, but the B roll's gonna back it up. Well, look at, I mean, come, come on now. Let, let's not mess about. Look at this. <laughs> look at that river. Look at that river. Just made a quick stop over here at the visitor center. Nathan's gotten out to take a few shots. David, stop. <laughs> look how crazy this place is. Just with no effort at all. Walking around the downtown of Ure. What you think, Naven? It's a little stroll lane, Ure. <laughs> what do I think? Well, it's very charming. I mean, they definitely. We keep saying that. It's charming. It's so, it's charming. so charming. No, but you know what? Like, what was the nickname? The little Switzerland of the U.S. or something like that? Yeah, or of Colorado. Or I'm not Colorado. exactly quite sure. But it definitely has a unique aesthetic that's really enjoyable. It's definitely catered. They cater to tourists. I think. Yeah. Population is not very high here, so most people are tourists. Tourist, yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of shops. I mean, if you want a shirt or a hat or a sweatshirt with your Ray written on it, a ton of shops here to offer that. Some that are more boutique -y, and then some that are a bit more touristy. They got a brewery here that looks like it's really good. And yeah, it's just even in the rain, it's still nice to walk around. Has its own mystique. <laughs> you know what else has its own mystique? Our badass no freeze water hose. This hose right here solves a big problem in the RV world and in the RV community. And that is when temperatures drop and it starts to get chilly, you risk having a frozen hose or freezing your pipes. You need something reliable that you can trust that's heavy duty, well built. That will keep your water flowing because without it, you're taking baby wipe showers. <laughs> we don't want to do that. This thing has saved our asses on numerous occasions. Idaho, Montana, Utah, Tennessee, and even during that crazy Texas freeze last year. This is rock solid, guys. 
No freeze water hose is actually proven at negative 30 in the harshest condition. It's super well insulated. The outside's got this braided polyester monofilament and it's fully self-regulated through the entire hose. So no need to monitor it, which is awesome. These guys are seriously changing the game when it comes to no freeze hoses. And we were given a discount code called on world travel that will save you anywhere from 12 to 50 plus dollars off your order so i encourage you if you're looking for a solid no freeze hose this is the real deal these guys are changing the hose game all right we are leaving ure now and getting on the million dollar highway money 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 one money. million dollars <laughs> we kind of waited for the rain to subside uh a local said you know it's much safer because when it's raining you're more likely to have you know rock slides and mud slides and all kinds of stuff so now we're gonna enjoy this drive and we're already at an incline here we go yeah here we go a million dollar make you holla make you holla oh my god Woo! that's a cliff it's a bit sketchy dang dude i don't know if there's gonna be stops along the whole way there's very few shoulders to pull out on very few kind of viewpoints oh my god we just turned the corner and everything went from like dark green started to get lighter yellow gold mix of almost like this pastel like super vibrant green and then we see these mountain tops and they're bright orange red something that looks like it'd be on mars you know it just looks so out of place but it's so beautiful so the million dollar highway is considered one of the most spectacular scenic drives in the country it's about 25 miles long and it's part of the san juan skyway based on what we've heard and based on our first impressions right now as we're getting on it does feel a bit sketchy because there are no like railways there's very few shoulders to pull out on so you gotta drive slow drive careful even though we've already passed people that are pulling trailers and, or driving big trucks that are going, in our opinion, way too fast. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's absolutely stunning. The majesty of the landscape is just, it hits you right here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and again, look, the colors are changing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Fall like time. ombre right there. I feel like this is the perfect time of year to come here, so we're, we're, we're lucky. Nathan's got to go feel the water, see how cold it is. It's, it's not that cold. It's chilly, but it's not that cold. Let's see this one. Oh, yeah. So, look. We noticed the water from when we were way over there looked golden. Now, here it looks a little bit brown, but... Ooh, look at that truck, dude. Dang, Dang, dude. she's pretty. <laughs> the water look like uh, you have a Thai curry the night before, you know? <laughs> Damn, it's gone. Diary like, what about? <laughs> we made it to Silverton. This is a cool little mining town. You know, it's in this kind of remote part of the uh, the Western San Juan Mountains, which is part of the Rocky Mountain Range, essentially. I thought it was gonna be about the same size of Ure, but it, it definitely feels a bit smaller. <laughs> There's one paved road down the, the main strip, and right now we're on the side road and it's, it's not paved, so that's kind of funny. It's kind of a cool blend of like, you know, Western and Victorian style, and it just, it's unique, it's different. We, we dropped into this really cool, uh, train store it was all train themed and uh you know it's definitely getting us a little bit hyped for uh, for next week and a big thank you to each person on this list your support helps make these videos possible and we love y'all he's got to put his arm in our trailer is like right up there maybe i don't know 200 steps and look what is like right at the doorstep of this rv park Stop it. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Parasites. It's our first night and we're lucky. And we Look, at it. it's just perched up on that little piece of wood. Dude, he's so cute. I've seen a lot of those blue hoses out there. And I'm talking to my fellow RVers that have gone through three or four of them. You buy this once and you're set. And there we go. Easy peasy. We got it all set up. No worries about flushing my toilet in the middle of the night. It gonna flush. All right. <laughs> <laughs>